<laughs> Did I get your attention with that thumbnail? I hope so. So the old adage is, you can't beat them, join them. Well, what if you can't join them? Might as well beat them. I've been trying to get together with a couple of uh, lady friends of mine that have done a uh, charity calendar for the last couple of months. And between my schedule with me going back and forth all over the place and their schedules with work plus all of the calendar duties, we just haven't been able to do it. But it got me thinking. If women can do these calendars of beautiful women plus cars, do it for a charity, why can't men do the same thing? Well, the answer is, as of right now, we can. We're going to do it. And I need your help to help me make this happen. Now, I have done a lot of modeling in my life. You may not realize that about me, but I have done a lot of interesting stuff over my years. Uh, something like me as Aquaman. Me replicating the classic shot of a girl in a car with the straps over her. Yep, run that too. Maybe me out in a sunflower field. Or as a drunken gringo in the back of a pickup truck. Or sexy Santa Claus. Or as a lumberjack. And, of course, there's always the classic milk bath. Those are my ideas, right? Those are things that I've done already. I've had people over the years tell me, Austin, you should do a calendar. You should do a calendar. I maybe should have done a calendar. I haven't done one yet, but you know what? What better time than now? So here's what I'm thinking, and I hope you're on board with this. I am wanting to do a male calendar and I want to do it in dudewar style I want to do it with a bunch of friends fellow youtubers guys and I want you to have fun with this and I want to do a calendar for charity I want all of the revenue that we sell off this calendar to go to charity and I think it could be huge I think it could be amazing and I want you to help me because I want to get more youtubers involved in this Automotive YouTubers, who do you know that you want to get involved? Who do you know that you can tag on this? That's what I'm looking for. So before I go any further, welcome to Good Things for Good People, the little tiny YouTube channel with great big dreams of changing the world for good, one view and one viewer at a time. I know I have been gone from the YouTube process for a long time. As you can see, I'm actually uh, in the waiting room of a hospital at the moment. Uh, my dad's been down here for a number of months doing... Um, recovery from broken ribs and pneumonia and a bunch of other things but that's been one of the things that's kept me from being able to get in touch with my lady friends and being able to show you guys those beautiful ladies and what they've done for their calendar uh, and to discuss their their calendar process but it really did get me thinking uh, I've had a lot of people over the years tell me that they love my stuff now I'm gonna say some people maybe it's not that exciting maybe for some people it's not that beautiful maybe it's not that sexy I understand, but you got to laugh at a fat guy doing modeling like this, don't you? I mean, you got to. So there are two ways I see this happening. Number one, I do it all by myself. Now I can do that. I'm not shy, clearly. I have almost no shame, clearly. And I have no problem with that. If we want to do a calendar of just me, fine. What I would do in that case is I want to see people give me ideas. Situations, themes, gimmicks, cosplay, whatever it is uh, that you want to see me do, I'll do it. I don't have any shame with that. I'll, I'll knock it out as long as it's vaguely appropriate and I'm able to print it uh, and we can make it into a calendar, I'm in. Now, option two, which is what I truly actually want to see happen, is I want to get a group of other YouTubers and other social media guys together to make this happen. And I want to have, <laughs> there's no other way to say this, but a competition. So, you know, ladies have Miss America and uh, all of those kinds of things. Well, we don't have those as guys. We don't get to do that kind of stuff. Like you've got Mr. Universe, but A, nobody ever watches that anymore. But B, that's for like really ripped fit guys. And that's not really what we're looking for here. Let's be honest. Pretty boys, that's 
Who could see? Uh, you're going to see that everywhere. But fat guys, guys with attitude, guys with confidence. Now that's a whole different ball game. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for 12 dudes. I'm looking for 12 finalists that have got the guts to be able to try out for this, to be able to send in their own video clip of who they are and why they think they're going to be good enough to be chosen as one of the 12 calendar guys for this charity calendar. Now, guys, I'm going to be fully up front with you. You're probably going to need to be pretty confident. So if you're not, this might not be the thing for you. But I think it would be fantastic. I think it would be hilarious. I think it could be huge. I think we could make thousands of dollars for charity. And I want to be able to use this as an opportunity, not just to laugh at ourselves and not just to be able to create a charity calendar and not just to be able to have a little bit of fun, but I want to be able to use it as an opportunity to talk about men and men's health and our, I don't want to use the term toxic masculinity, but I do want to use the term overcompensated masculinity. A lot of times guys tend to think that they've got to be alpha male guy. They've got to be, you know, slick Rick kind of guy. They've got to know all the answers. They can't be vulnerable. They can't ask questions. They can't ask for help. They can't do any of those things. They've just got to be a bastion of solid marble that's immobile, that you can't dent, that you can't scratch, that can't cry. And that's not realistic. That's not a good way to live your life. If you think that you need to live that way, you're wrong. Most men have a problem with being able to be vulnerable, and I understand that. I don't have that problem. Fortunately, I don't. Uh, I am able to talk about my feelings and express my feelings and even break down if I need to. Um, and I, But I realize that that's not how most guys are. I know that that is either a social thing or a family thing or a cultural thing that it's just very, very difficult to be able to open up and admit weakness or admit harm or admit hurt or admit really generally emotions at all. It's just not part of how we are, unfortunately. That's also led to a lot of men that are truly lonely, that are truly desperate, that could end up in some very, very bad situations. And men's health, I think, is going to be something that I really want to start focusing on. I want this channel to be a bastion of positivity and to be able to be a place to support each other. I also want to realize the fact that, as I mentioned in my last video, that I don't want to keep fighting with the fact that a large portion of people that are going to know me are from the automotive community. You probably know me from the automotive community. And I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight about that anymore. I just I want to embrace that, and I'm going to bring that into this process. So that's why I want to try this project. I want to see if it's something that's, that's possible. I want to see if there are 12 guys out there. Maybe there's more, and we'll have even more people trying out for this. That would be fantastic. But I want to see if we can get some guys that are going to get involved in this that I can network with, that we can kind of do collaboration stuff with, and be able to open up some of these conversations with other guys that are out there doing what they're doing and maybe have some conversations about things that they have gone through in their lives or that make them uh, uncomfortable or that make them feel like they have to kind of cover up and, and armor up. Because if we're honest, I think we all know somebody that's like that. We probably know a lot of people like that. You may be that person. And you don't have to always have that armor. Um, a lot of people have, have made comments a lot of times when they see my, me with my beautiful woman and they wonder how in the world is a short fat bearded guy with such a gorgeous woman and I agree with you thank you well it's because of the way I am guys it's because of the way I behave and the fact that I treat people with respect and I'm loving and I'm caring and I'm communicative and I'm supportive and I don't have any problems with asking questions or asking for help or making fun of myself. Like, you know, yeah, I understand. I'm a gorgeous piece of man meat. I understand. Yes, I should be a fashion model. I understand that. Yes, I know. A lot of people think I look like Jack Black. I get it. But it's the personality. It's the, it's the 
And I don't want to say that I'm better than you. I'm probably not better than you. I do have a beautiful woman, though. you got to be honest with that. But a lot of guys have problem being that approachable and that vulnerable to be able to pose like this. It's just something we're not comfortable with. But I think in doing it, it can help other guys to be able to open up and to be more comfortable with this kind of thing. That can help guys to get to that point of moving to another happier step in life. I think. At worst case scenario, it makes a lot of people laugh. It puts some hilarious photos out there on the internet. It might get some people involved. It's going to get some attention on the channel. And that's the bare minimum it's going to do. And, you know, if something that we do creates a lot of laughter and, and happiness, okay, then it's not a loss. It's a small win, but it's not a loss. But if this goes big, if this gets viral, if this spreads all over the place and people truly embrace this, it could be something huge. It could be something where we generate a ton of interest. We generate a ton of money that we can use for doing good things for good people. Along the way, we can also generate some really important conversations with a lot of other people that are out there. So that's what I want to do. I think it's uh, an interesting idea. I think it's got some potential for greatness. I think I also very well could end up with a ton of pie on my face for this. Maybe that's an option for a photo. But I want to see if you guys know anybody else that could help me with this. Do you know a content creator that you think you would like to see in this? In this calendar with me? Who else could step up? Who else could make this happen? I'm interested. So guys, reach out to your fellow content creators. Or if you are a content creator, put a comment in the comment section below and let's get this ball rolling. We need to start talking. I want to make this a calendar for 2025. So we probably have some time to get this done, but I want to start working on getting the roster figured out and get ideas together so that we all have something different that we're doing and we don't want to step on each other's toes. And I want to make sure that this is going to be something epic because I think it's got the potential to be absolutely epic. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to say for today. I hope you guys are interested in this project. I hope I didn't gross you out or weird you out with this. I know it's probably a little over the top for a lot of people, but I think the idea here, the core of this idea is really, really great. I think it's got a lot of potential. I think it's got something that we could really do some incredible good with and kick open some doors with laughter to some very important conversations. And I'm going to bring up more of that stuff in the near future as far as loneliness and male health and all kind of that kind of stuff. And I, I want to truly focus on that, some of that stuff um, because I, I think it's something that I can speak to. And I think I've got enough um, experience and people with experience around me that I think we can have some legitimate conversations about this. So welcome back to Good Things for Good People. I apologize for being gone for the last month. I will do my best to stay on top of things and be more communicative going forward. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. I hope you had a great weekend. And let's see who's got ideas. Who do we think can get involved? Um, send messages to people on Instagram. Send messages to people on Facebook. I am going to post on Facebook as well and see if I can get any of the guys that I'm, inter or that I'm connected to on there interested in this. And we're going to just get a viral market this thing. We're going to see if we can get it to grow. Because if we can get a whole group of guys, a bunch of YouTubers together that are willing to be hilariously, inappropriately vulnerable, I think this is going to be a heck of a project. So let's see what we can do with it. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.